ladies and gentlemen, introducing the NFC Western Division champions, the St. Louis Rams. Well, the stage is set. Sean King, the rookie. Another great story in Kurt Warner and Warren Sapp and all the rest. The stage is set. Yep. Remember that? They got an eye formation like this and they went play pass and hit Isaac Bruce for a touchdown. He's going to work. Intercepted. The first pass by Steve White. It was supposed to be a screen, and White was right in the middle of it, and the Buccaneers it, get a break. All stuck in front of Dunn. Dunn again. Hit behind the line by Wistrom. Here it comes. Incomplete. Pass intended for Green. Rams have Keith Lyle in there now. Four wide receivers, shotgun formation. King comes out of there, throws it away. They'll settle for three. Martin Gramatica from 25 yards out. Royals is the holder. And the kick is strong enough. You notice how quiet this crowd That's is now? That's a pretty good formula, isn't it? Fall. Behind the line of scrimmage. Hit by Brooks. And form a triangle around the runner. Four wide receivers on second and 12. And Falk comes straight ahead. And bounces outside. Right in the spot that they left. Three wide receivers this time. Quick count. Warner drops. Has time. Lots of time. Pass complete. First down ram. But he's quick. Last play, Derek Brooks covered Marshall Falk well. Pass complete. Up the middle to Ricky Pro. First and ten, Rams. Big draw. Down the seam. Perfect to Roland Williams. Inside the Buccaneer 20. And what Marshall Falk has done. I think he's been the guy right here that has really put this whole thing together. First and goal at the six. Warner throws outside to Bruce. No, no, no touchdown. You're just saying here that it's incomplete. Incomplete. And you see that he had the balls a little behind him. You know, you know usually, usually is. he throws it in front where they don't have to break stride. Good call. Rams have four wide receivers. No protest from anybody, so it must have. They fumble. That was Falk. I think he got it back. Marshall Falk yeah. was never center. He was messing around even before he got his hands up. He was messing around with his face mask. The field goal by Jeff Wilkins from 24 yards ties it up. Wilkins is good. 3-3 three, three tie. And if they pass, this is a matchup right here that you have to be looking at. The speed of Grant Wistrom. Shotgun snap goes over the head. Of Sean King, who just bangs it wisely out of the end zone for a safety, conceding it. You see, the guy that was chasing was Grant Whistler. It, yeah. it was between Sean King and Grant Whistler. That's the thing. If it's against the Buccaneers, of course, it'll be declined because it'll be two point safety. The ball, number 10 on the offense. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a safety. Rams ran right into the slant of the Buccaneer defense. Second and ten. Warner back to throw and fires complete to Hakeem. You know who before this season started there was no way that I thought nor do I know anyone that thought that the Rams would be in this position. Pass is caught. Complete to Hakeem. Then they give you a shift like that. So you have to adjust. Then they give you a motion. So you have to shift and you have to reset your defense and adjust your coverage. Reverse coming to Oz Hakeem. A slip down. Third and one. Runner incomplete. 
field goal team headed out. The Rams had three kickers in trying them out. One of them, Nick Lowry. And on Thursday, they decided Wilkins is okay. This is far enough. 44 yards out. No good to the right. And they're keying on him. You can see him with their eyes eyeing that direction. Here's Allstott. And he's not going to get the first. Mike Jones led the defense, and they're going to have to punt. He can really roll them out, but he hasn't gotten into that. Well, he gets rid of the ball very quickly, but they put the heat on him, and they do it again. And the pass is knocked away. He let go in a hurry. Eighth man up. They're coming on blitzes. They're playing zone. Good mixture. Low kick by Horan. Bounces to Williams, who gets a pretty good bounce. Looking for some place to go. And Williams gets into Ram territory to the 45. Stuck, tripped up by James Hodgins. Four wide receivers. It won't be a play pass. No, I don't think it's a good shotgun situation because the Bucks have proved they're not very good in this. Quick pass out to Carl Williams, and that'll move the stick. Warwick Dunn is back and behind Allstott. And King fakes and throws outside to Mike Allstott, who second and one, Allstott's the deep back. And Allstott gets the carry, hit behind the line of scrimmage. Convincingly by Tennessee. Plus our Fox Sports ticker will have up to the second stats. Yeah. King out of the shotgun from behind. Fumble. Charlie Clemens. Still loose. That fumble, that sack, if the scramble for the ball, George Diaz, I believe. Charlie Clemens has made some big defensive plays for the Rams, and that was just one of them. Royals kick bounds into the end zone. Yep, they did it the hard oh. way, but they did it. Yep. Here's Marshall Falk. Just the opposite of what you might think. Second and one. Falk again. And Falk gets a Ram first down to the 35. In the first half, in the exact game that he wants because they're not comfortable. Second and ten. Here's Warner's pass to Prohl. Ricky Prohl moves it enough. And then, and then he becomes the outside re re receiver. Prohl becomes the inside receiver. Heard Warner. I tell you what, they get around the ball in a hurry, don't they? Yeah, and they spill it. I mean, that's the thing that they want to do is they call that spill. Now watch this silent count. Yeah. When he moves it, Mayberry's looking between his legs. He moves, moves his leg, and then the ball snaps. Passes quickly to Jacquez Green, and Jacquez gets out of bounds. The fact that there was a little snow on the ground, he'd never seen it before. It was the first time he'd ever seen snow, and he said he wanted to make a snowman. Third down. Steps up in the pocket, gets it to Warwick Dunn. Dunn rolls up near first down yardage. Because he has his first down, and he also has one timeout that he wants to save for the, for the kick. That's exactly what he did. But through the mirror, they're watching this football. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it is. You wouldn't think they'd be able to do that. Pass is picked off by Todd Light. And Todd Light, there's some doubt about whether he was going to play or not. And we were just uh, saying yes, how, how they haven't made any mistakes out of the Ram. And either get a completion or a uh, penalty. Warner retreats to throw something deep. Oh, there was a collision downfield, I heard, all the way up here. Mike Martz, the offensive coordinator, who just signed a new contract this week to become the head coach after Dick Vermeil retires. Five seconds. Whistles going. The pass was complete. Delay. Offense. Five-yard penalty. As I said, patient. Then the next thing that usually follows is conservative. All right. Pass is complete. Down to Ricky Pro. And they're going to be close there to field goal position there. Well, if they have some time, no time left. So it doesn't do any good. There go the Buccaneers to the locker room. The Rams are saying, hey, get them back out of here. I think, I think they're going to look. See, Kurt Warner called timeout to the referee. That's the end of the first half. That's the end of the first half. Well, he didn't get his timeout before the whistle blew. That's the end of the first half. Again, with the score of the Rams, five. The Buccaneers 3, this Fox NFC Championship game will continue from St. Louis.
after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. The Bucks have four wide receivers. Here comes a blitz and Sean King lets it go to whoa to Jack Wes Green and Green and make a heck of an adjustment to make the catch. It was there was a heck of a throw by Sean ball, King. Face mask number 20 defense. Third and six. Sean King up the middle complete. Dramatica will attempt a field goal that will put the Bucks ahead from 23 yards away. And he is true down the middle. When one of them come up, it would be cover three. This is a cover two right here. Holt, who has returned with a black jacket. One of the things that Mike March talked about is getting Torrey Holt back or not having Torrey Holt. Well, he has him now. As it's caught by Holt again at midfield from Warner. Well, he's getting a little more pressure than he got last week. And here comes the blitz. Ooh. That's again the Holt. Did you see? Holt <laughs> is hammered. Second. Warner. As it's caught again by Holt. They got some working now. You can see the Buccaneers are in a three-man line now, which is a pretty good situation to blitz from, and they are. There it is. Warner shed, sheds a blocker, throws upfield, and completes it to Ricky Pro. And that'll be enough for a first down. They had him, and he got away. Yep, and that's Watch him, how, how he sees him. Then he makes a little move up, then a little move back, and then a throw right here. The guy had the ball in his left hand, and Barber got him by the right hand, his throwing hand. Andy Barber came completely free. Here's Warner. Outside, wide open, is Jeff Robinson. Bruce was the man in motion. Warner looking. Flag on the play. Warner trying to find some place to go. He's going to get out of bounds at about the three, but there's a penalty marker down, and that's in the area of holding. Holding. 62 offense. He stays there for the screen or the draw, and that's how he knocked that ball down. Third down, Warner drops, throws up the middle, pass is picked off. That's Hardy Nickerson. Nickerson gets out to about the seven, intercepted by the Buccaneer defense. One that history shows that the teams aren't going to score a lot of touchdowns. There's Dunn again, and Warwick Dunn. Gets a Buccaneer first down, gets him out of the hole. Third and seven. In a hurry. Done. He's going to be short of the first down. The winning team is going to go to the Super Bowl. This has to be a yeah. big game somewhere. Hard for it to be boring. This is Marshall's fault. And he's not going to get the first down or anything close to it. In some successful years when he was there as a defensive coach, here's Warner back to throw it again. This time he has time. And the pass is complete to Ricky Pro. He does stand in there tough. Yes, he does. Screen pass to Falk, and it's played well by Donnie Abraham. Look at this. You talk about how well yeah. Tampa Bay has played. They only have one penalty. It's third and long now, and here's Warner back to throw it. And the pass is picked off by the Buccaneers, Brian Kelly. And Kelly stays on his feet and gets to the 40, 42-yard line. And the Buccaneers, another turnover. Yep, Warner's right. third interception. Yep. <laughs> They're giving the Rams some of their own bob and weave. Yeah. Did you see that? Yep. The Buccaneers, first and 10 at the Ram 42. Sean King is going to throw it. The ball came out of his hand, just slipped out of his hand. And he wisely got on it, but. He's, he's look, looking downfield and he goes to pump it. Then as he brings it back yeah. to throw it, he just drops it. Yep. You know, and that's that's something that that, that that he's had around him. I mean, that's that's not. After reviewing the play, the play stands is called fumble on the field. Now that was that blitz where Fletcher came first and yep. Jenkins came in behind him. We saw it last week. Yeah, it was real successful last week. Here's King in the shotgun. It's 
Green pass to Warwick Dunn. And Dunn scampers down the sideline to the 35. That might have put him in range for Gramatica. Yep, 35 yard line is a 52 yard yep. field goal. Well, the marker on the far side of the field has first down. Yeah, but it's wrong. The it's marker wrong. down on this side has fourth down. All right. Now they change it. Fourth down. Sean King throws to a wide open Bert Emanuel. But there's a flag. There's a flag on the play. Yeah, and they're saying there's no play. Did you hear that? The officials yes. are saying no play. They're saying that the whistle blew before the ball was snapped. Oh, is that a big one? Oh, that changes everything. Now the Bucks are going to have to punt. All right. Sean King is arguing that he got that play off. Let's see. Watch here. Here's here's the monitor here. The ball is snapped now. Yep, it was at zero. So the Rams take over their own seven. And Kurt Warner has no touchdown passes today, of course, and three interceptions. Pitches back to Marshall Falk, and Falk gets out to about... Here's Warner throwing outside, incomplete. A good play by Donnie Abraham, who got the hand out in front of it. I think we have to keep him back for next week. Yep. Moran's punt's going to be handled by Williams, and he has a little bit of room. Williams to midfield. That's coming up here on Fox. Sean King back to throw, sack by Kevin Carter. Boy, did Kevin Carter just go right around Jerry Wunt. Yep, he's, he's raising his three brothers and sisters. Two brothers, one sister. Shotgun, they've had uh, trouble with this, but this time the King throws. Pass is intercepted by Dre Bly, and the Rams will take over. As you said, you know, it's the same thing. That shotgun is not something they do well. Well, this is a here it is. Episode here. Uh, no, this is because somewhere between now and the end of the game, someone's going to make a play and put their team in the Super Bowl. Warner going deep. Touchdown! Touchdown! Ricky Pro in the corner. They sold out with the blitz. That's a play. Is it ever? He, he, he just gets good position right there. And Kurt Warner makes a perfect throw. They're going to go for two. Yeah, the coverage was was good. I mean, brings them up to go for two. Back to throw. And looking and has to, to just ground it. King starts Warwick Dunn to his right. Gives to Allstott. And Allstott. They'll stack the middle. Getting ready for Allstott, who's the deep back. They give the ball to him, and he's got the first down and more. And Allstott rambles to the 40. 229 left to play. The Rams bring a man up to blitz, and here it comes, and King goes out. And the pass, I believe, is caught by Jack Wes Green. To go play pass and go for a big one. Pump fake, and down goes King. Hey, he didn't get back Jeff far enough. Scanina. But you can't pump and stay in a position where you just pump from. And now they go shotgun. And this is ugly. And King throws deep. He's got a man wide open. And he steps out of bounds. Carl Williams. Ugly just became beautiful, yeah. didn't it? Green in motion. Here comes the Ram blitz. King. There's nothing he could do. The Rams take him back. Wistrom. First there with an assist.
Now to the shotgun. This time King has protection and throws complete. Bert Emanuel made a crouching catch. And he still has 10 yards to go, so it's still... I'm not sure what's going on. It looks like they might be reviewing something. Yep, the referee is going yep. over to the viewing booth. It is a, it is a challenge. Bert Emanuel's catch. Yeah, that's good. I that's mean, there's, a catch. There's nothing wrong there. Nope. You know, as you said earlier, the when you get in the last two minutes and the entire overtime, if there is an overtime, uh, it would be in the hands upstairs. He had possession. The ball might have hit the ground, but he had it. I don't think you can take that one away I from him. I don't think you can either. After reviewing the play, the last play, it was determined that the pass was incomplete. It'll be third down at the 36 yard line for 47 seconds on the game clock. Uh, the pass was incomplete. that the the Buccaneers lost about 12 yards of field position I think he has control when yeah, it's I do hits. too I don't you know and the ground can't ca cause a fumble that's the case. there was no one there on him and uh, I'm surprised I'm, I'm surprised that they said to review it then I'm surprised that the review held up but if it's coming this time it's going to come from the outside King from behind, Wistrom. He threw the ball, but Wistrom comes down to this. Sean King firing deep for the end zone. And the ball is batted out of the end zone by the Rams and incomplete. And the Rams have escaped, it would appear. 11 to 6 they lead as they take over with 34 seconds and Tampa Bay out of timeouts. There's a fight over there in the Tampa yep. Bay sideline. I see a yellow helmet. Play this hard, do as well as Tampa Bay did. You get that close to the Super Bowl and it's not to be. And for the Rams it is to be. They better get Billy Jenkins out yeah. of there. There's no place for that. I mean, win the game and, and play it like you expect to win it and play it like you're a champion. I don't think it was the kind of game anybody expected except the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. There's the owner, Georgia Frontieri. Or she wants that to be pronounced differently down here. Frontier, doesn't she? I don't know, but there's no better feeling than the one on the Rams side, and there's no worse feeling and the feeling on the other side. Tony Dungy and Dick Vermeil. They talk to each other during the week. Tony Dungy and Dick Vermeil, two of the great guys yep. in this league. Two guys that you would say that you hope they could both win. The two quarterbacks. Two quarterbacks, two of the good guys in this league. Both outstanding people.